All right, welcome back to the Vessel Brie. That's me, baby. We're going to go ahead and get right into it. Um, So what I have for y'all here, you came out on your own read, the Emperor card here. I feel like you had to really use your masculine energy when dealing with this other person, man. Because in this Lover's card, this is giving me like a man who wanted to be in some type of polyamorous relationship because you see here dealing with two women on this card and you got this man here then you got raw here about to about to take somebody out i'm trying to tell you all right and then you have seven of of wands here you're protected from this person all right from these people whatever this is all right because somebody was not given an equal take and give um or was just trying to like i'm getting an energy where somebody would try to give you gifts and money to keep you around even though they was messing with uh boo boo the fool over here but I definitely feel like with the Hermit card in reverse, you're isolating yourself from this person or spirit isolated you from this person. They freed you from these illusions, all right? Because you have the Hermit in reverse, Virgo energy, the Devil in reverse, and the Moon in reverse. So it's like somebody's definitely getting exposed in this situation. All right, we have the card here. Um, it was your ex, all right? So your ex could be getting exposed, all right? You also have low vibration and high vibration so it's like somebody's vibration was definitely i feel like it was yours was higher than this other person and then the intuitive message that i got when starting your read was terminator like you had to be the terminator or your ancestors is terminating shit all right it's like it's like you brought this this shit to an end all right this this situation is ending this person who was trying to trap you in some type of karmic or polyamorous relationship whatever the hell this is thought they was playing tricking somebody thought they was playing illusions but you got trickster here they got played all right so, so by somebody trying to play you it's like they played themselves and on the back of this card is therapy like low-key this person needs therapy is, is dealing with a lot of unhealed traumas that they were trying to project onto you so your ancestors had to terminate that situation then you have um when i looked up terminator it was like dividing the dividing line between the light and dark so it's like y'all were dealing with somebody like you're this light being you could be a light worker star seed whatever you want to call yourself um dealing with this this i want to say demonic entity or somebody who was struggling with their own own self they they haven't you know slayed their own demons yet but with these both in reverse it's like you freed yourself from this the hermit card you're being isolated from this person who was trying to you know come towards you as if they was in some type of um, stable energy. This person could even deal with a situation where they're going to physical jail. All right, that's what we have here because your ancestors, if this is a family member, all right, it doesn't have to be because we do have it was your ex here. They're not protecting this person. Whatever they did to you or whatever the situation is, it's like it's so bad to the point where they're not protecting them. Somebody could even go to jail and they know this, and that's why they're losing their, their mind. All right, this person was trying to breadcrumb you a lot in this situation. And I'm feeling like they're very proud for, for you ending this situation, for you walking away. And they also helped you walk away from this person, place, or thing. Because your vibration is too high to be surrounded by people with... Why am I getting uh, uh, attachments to them that would not benefit you? All right? You have blessing and abundance here as well. So it's like by you walking away from this karmic love, all right, you're going to be able to walk into holy love, all right, something that you've asked and prayed for, all right, a blessing here. I'm also getting like this situation was, was honestly a blessing in disguise, whatever came to an end, all right, you have a whole hell of a lot of protection, all right, a whole hell of a lot of protection. Some of you guys could have even been dealing with a father figure, but somebody is going to jail in a situation for whatever they did. This person could have tried to transfer your money or something like this in some type of way. And I have a card that says spiritual jail and physical jail. So it's like somebody is going to physical jail. All right. They got vacation in reverse. Yeah, they about to take a vacation, but it ain't going to be a good one. Because whatever they did to you, yeah. And then you have... um. Then you have reincarnation here. All right, so take the how you want it. You're some type of reincarnated um, healer. I am using the Egyptian tarot deck. So you have deep um, ties to Egyptian ancestry. And it's like, you're like a god or goddess who has been reincarnated to this earth. All right, especially underneath the emperor card. <laughs> what? They try to play. Oh, no, baby. Yeah, and you have yes right here. Yes, this is exactly what's going on or what happened. Or yes, this is, this is true here. All right. I don't know how deep this goes, but somebody fucked up messing with you. That's that's what I'm getting here, all right? And you you had to let go. Or you definitely had to let go in this situation, but they were guiding you to let go, all right? 
they were guiding you to let go. All right, some of you guys have mediumship here. All right, that's why you have so many spiritual gifts because it's not just well, I'm getting like it's not just you, baby. Like you have a lot of spiritual gifts. One of them are mediumship. All right, so you're able to communicate with your loved ones, your ancestors. All right, but yeah, warning: do not proceed. All right, so this person could try to come back around. All right, and try to seek some type of clarity, but. Um, why am I hearing off with their head? Like, no, bro. Like, no. Your answer is like, if they try to step into your energy, some shit might even blow up. Like, whatever happened, whatever this person did, it was it was beyond unjustified. Like, why am I hearing like unforgivable? And when I say unforgivable, you know, you do want to forgive people. I say this all the time because forgiveness is not for the other person at all. It's a, it's for you to let go, heal from, and be able to move on towards what towards this blessing that spirit has for you. I'm also getting you've always you've been the blessing all along. All right, you could be an empath, be very empathic. This is why this person thought they could play in your energy or play you, whatever it is, but they played themselves. Oh, yeah, honey, you got a narc, a narcissist. All right, this person could have even took some type of oath here. Take it how you want, because I kept getting the energy of, like, they got some demonic attachments to them. All right, so it's like, I'm hearing, like, escape, escape. They had to, they had to, to have you escape out of this, this situation. This person could be very impulsive as well. All right. And you're very um, a very clairvoyant. You have clairvoyant mediumship. All right, this could even been cousins that you were dealing with. All right, but spirit is removing you from the situation. As soon as I said removing you, yeah, green flag. They're relocating you. Or if you're wondering whether you should move physically or move on from this person, the answer is yes. All right, to let go of the chaos. There could even been physical fights in this situation. There could be, yeah. All right. No, oh, baby, you got energy harvesting. All right, this person was definitely trying to play on your energy. Why am I getting sex magic? Yeah, so that's why that's why this person's fucked. All right, then you have karma's a bitch. This card been coming out for everybody. Everybody. I also say everybody and their grandma, so take it how you want it. This person's grandma could have even been a part of something here. All right, this person wanted you to submit to this energy, but you too boss for that. You is the boss. You is the emperor here. I don't know what they thought this was. I do not know what they thought this was, y'all. Whole lot of shit involved in here. That is exactly why they about ready to blow some shit up. All right. Fire sign. Obviously, you're a fire sign. Or you could be dealing with another fire sign. All right. That's why they finna go to jail. Because they should never be playing with your energy trying to fuck with a magical being with some artificial magic. How are you going to put artificial shit on a pure, on a pure magical being? Someone who, who naturally is magical. All right. This could even happen this week. All right. So you got spiritual jail, trapped themselves and physical jail. They done. All right. Your ancestors want them to know that they're done. They want to, they want to work for you. They want to battle for you. This shit's all getting exposed. All right. They can no longer play in your energy. Now I'm staring at the stop recording button. Like they don't even want me to, to, to put this message out because maybe some of y'all didn't know how deep this went. But your God said you can have it today. So what else do we have here? Yeah, some of you guys are single here. Mm, the judgment card came out. It's done. It's done. With the death card, man, what? They better hope. Mm. Yeah, this situation is dead. It's a dead mission. It's a dead play. All right. And then you have here when I was talking about terminate the line between the light and the dark. It's like you could have been trying to heal this person, right? But they're the dark right here and you're the light. All right. Unless it's the dark and light between yourself, that shit ain't finna balance. That shit is not finna come together. All right, so now you got this person on their own. They left out in the cold, but this is the death card. All their shit's coming to an end for trying to fuck with you. You see this little person right here on the scale on the back? That's them. I'm hearing captivity. Like, they gonna be held captive. I don't know what this is. Then you got um the eye up here. So, you've always been protected when situations and reads like this come up, it's like an energy of where I feel like spirit lets certain things happen so that they can play themselves and receive the consequences. There's always consequences to your actions, all right? And I'm really getting somebody wanted to play on your beautiful empathic energy, but it's over, all right? You're too blessed. You're too favorite for that. That's why they're removing you. This is something that's going to go on this week or next week, all right? They played themselves. All right, so I'm getting if somebody wants to know if they, they made the right decision or not, you definitely did. All right? Yeah. Yeah, straight like that. All right? And then you got this card right here. So somebody was trying to set somebody up in a situation. I'm hearing laughing. 
<laughs> Your ancestors was laughing at these fools. They was like, no, bro, but we gonna let them go ahead and think they doing something. Yeah, this person about to be shook. All right, or if you cross watching for this, this person to see your fate or whatever, you shook right now. All right, it's over, bud. It's over for you. All right. Yeah, priceless. That's why they're loving me. Like, this shit is priceless, man. I don't know what they thought. They wanting mercy now. Whole time, you moving on. They like, don't even stress it, Bill. We got you. Don't even stress it. Some of y'all are, are, are um, doing your sage and Palo Santo, your, your protection, or you just know that you're highly protected. All right, Claire, study it as well. You got all these gifts. You came back to this earth, you know, definitely getting a connection to like the Egyptian history, like hieroglyphics, baby, like pyramids. Like, I don't know what they thought this was. The abilities that you have, the person that you are, this shit was never going to work. All right. You could be seeing 11, 11 a lot. They want you to focus on self-love at this time because your wishes are coming true. But it's like some of your blessings you felt like weren't coming in. It's because you was attached to this person. All right. So it's like as soon as you let go, you're going to see, you know, I'm getting like money coming in, your hair growing. You're going to be happier. Things are going to be working out better for you. All right. Somebody's health could even be declining in this situation. All right. Because nothing against you will ever prosper. They got caught up. All right. It's like they had to come into your energy to get caught up. And now, like I said, if your money was prolonged at some point, now you're going to be able to get new money, this new job, whatever you want. And now everything's going to be going fine for you. New environment. All right. Because meanwhile, like I said, they were trying to trap you. That was this. They were trying to set you up. Maybe you set yourself up. That was that was that was the setup all along. Trying to use mind games, mind manipulation. Nah, bro. He was not having that. He was not having that. And it's over. Came out again. But they still, okay. So your ancestors, they don't want you to um, close up your heart space, though. They want you to heal it. Because you don't want to become who hurts you. Because then that makes you no different than them, right? Well, I don't know about this motherfucker. Because this person, this person, raw, they bold. You ain't never going to be a them with your light being so. But it's like, extend your lighthearted energy to others. Don't let your heart... Um, turn cold is what I'm getting here because you're still going to get blessed in love. What do we see here? Blessing and holy love. Mama here in trial and error. All right. So remain strong. They're going to guide you because whatever you're asking for, you still shall receive. Maybe it's not in the way that you had pictured or, or with the person that you picture, but you're still going to receive love in your life. Yes. The yes card. I don't know if y'all can see that with the plant right there. All right, you certainly, you're still going to transform. I feel like you're going to transform this situation. I feel like you kept your composure in this situation or you're being guided to because your life is about to transform since this situation has ended. All right, Join contentment here. You're going to walk into a whole bunch of happiness, bliss. You have um, the wings here, earth angel energy. You try to play an earth angel dog. That's like a, mm. I wouldn't do that. Yeah, in the beginning, they want you to forgive and understand. I feel like the understanding is, it's like, this. it's like, whatever this person did, they could have done this to multiple other people, but when they stepped into your energy, your ancestors knew, yeah, this day time to get shut down. So it's like the understanding of that and also forgiving so you can move forward and be able to prepare yourself for new true love. Because a lot of you guys, that's what you're wanting. All right, pay attention to the signs and reminders. You have butterflies here. You have birds here. And then mediumship is coming up again with this rainbow here. So I feel like also moving away from this person, they could have been trying to block some type of spiritual gifts and you're about to get an upgrade. And not only you're breaking, but your spiritual gifts as well. So yeah, blessing and abundance came out again with harmony and resolution. They surely resolved this situation for you. You ain't, you ain't got to do nothing but sit back and focus on yourself. Yep, compassion and angelic protection. What did I say? You are highly protected. This is given Archangel Michael. What, did I, what the hell did I just say? Archangel Michael vibes. And then compassion. They don't want you to turn your heart cold. They never could. They never could. They want you to keep your composure and, and continue working on yourself, self-love, and understand that, you know, I'm also in the energy of everybody's not the same. So don't let this one situation, don't take it with you. Release it. Don't take it with you. Don't let it weigh on your heart. Is what I'm getting here. All right? Because now you're unlocking. Yeah. No. Don't let it weigh on your heart. Release this. Watch your hand, wash your hands clean of this person in this situation because there's a clean slate coming for you. All right? Whatever you're manifesting. All right? I'm also getting money manifestation in my eye here. I have a card that says that. So if you guys are doing money manifestations, all right? It's like, what's that song? Um, 
I don't know what it's called, but it's like get out your bag and get in your bag. All right. But definitely surrender. Okay. Surrender to this process. Surrender to healing. Surrender to the divine. I know that they, yeah, they don't have inner child healing right here. So they want you to heal from this situation. But I'm also getting know that they got you. There's a grandmother coming through here saying, like, I got, we got you. All right. And charge it to the testimony, learning experience. All right. I'm really getting like somebody could be holding a situation very heavy on their heart, but they want you to trust. They want you to grow from this situation. All right. Because your testimony, what you went through, could very much help other people and what they're going through as well. It's like you're not your, you're not what you've been through. All right. Some of them, some of you want, they want you to take a step back. All right. Connect with your friends, your loved ones, those that you know are, you know, pure beings just like yourself, and this pure energy to help you in this situation. It's gonna help you bring more joy into your life. Like-minded people. All right, but I also feel like you're tapping in more into the, the universe. Yeah, blessing and abundance came out again. You know how many times this card keeps coming out? You are extremely blessed and highly favored. But he's also holding it right here on his heart chakra. All right. And there is going to be opportunity. This is your opportunity right now to bring change into your life. All right, that's why this situation had to end because some shit had to change, bro. Because they wasn't having that. They ain't never going to have that. You're always going to be highly blessed and favored. You're always going to be highly protected. Always have been, always will be. All right. Yeah, your life is about to upgrade. Your life is about to upgrade. Your life is about to upgrade. That's why they don't want you to hold, hold this situation. They want you to release it. That's why the situation is coming up in the first place. Because your life is about to go through a huge transformation. Your health is about to start improving if you were having any health issues. I'm not reading that. I'm not reading that. All right, yeah, falling in love. So you will fall in love again, okay? They want you to understand that as well. Some of you guys, it may be with the air sign. You may even meet an air sign, you know. It's like that energy. If you could spend so much time with one person, then you meet somebody new, and they do more, provide more than someone ever has, all right? We have a brother here. Somebody could be connecting more with their brother, all right, but new money, new money, or something about what's what's right here? What is um what's this right here? Okay, I'm just making sure, y'all. Yeah, the sky's the limit for you. All right, it's like with releasing this situation, you're gonna be able to to do so much more. You never needed this person. This person needed you. All right, yeah. Ooh, don't stress it, boo. Don't stress it. You can relax. All right, because it's all good. And yes, you do have a pure heart, but that pure heart was never finna get played. And that's just on period. All right. So this is what I have for you guys. I feel like an elevation. Yeah. You're about to be elevated. You're about to take off to a whole new level. All right. And this person, they just gonna have to get left behind. Period. That's what I have for y'all. Peace.